five more minutes. Just five more minutes. One hour later. What time is it? I said five more minutes, not an hour. Hey guys, so I think we could all relate to that where we don't hear our alarm clock, snooze our alarm clock, and don't hear it when it goes off again, or just ignore it in general, which is probably what I do the most to be honest. But a lot of times we have things we have to get to and we have to look put together for them. For instance, I work at 6 a.m. and on most days I set my alarm clock for 5 a.m. so I can give myself plenty of time to get ready, but the real honest truth is I am rushing out of bed at 5.40 and getting ready in five minutes to be at work. But I need to look presentable. I can't walk into work looking like I just rolled out of bed because that is not the way I need to greet clients or customers. That just does not work. So with that in mind, my good friend here on YouTube, Olivia Lura, and I have decided to make a collaboration video. So I am going to be doing a makeup routine that I timed myself doing and it takes under six minutes and it's this look right here. So very simple and natural but still put together. And then over on Olivia's channel, she is going to be doing a hair routine that will only take minutes. And I am so happy to have done this collaboration with Olivia. I love her channel so much. She has really cool videos. She did one that was a Mila Kunis lookalike that I loved and a rose gold makeup tutorial that I love. And she also has like these beauty talk videos and she also did the most repurchased makeup tag and the just one word tag. Her channel is just so fun and full of awesome content. So be sure to check it out guys. Couple tips on doing your makeup in a bit of a rush but still wanting it to look good. Um, as much as possible combine things. So I use the same palette for my eyebrows as I use for the color I just put across my eyelid. I use the same brush for my blush and my bronzer. Nobody got time to figure out different brushes for their face when they're in a rush. And I also always use a very dense brush when I'm applying my foundation. Although other techniques may look better in the end, when you're getting ready in a rush, if you use a very dense brush, you will be able to blend out that color a lot quicker. And the final tip I'm going to leave you guys with is always combine your foundation and primer when you're in a hurry. You don't want to skip putting a primer on because if you're in a hurry to get somewhere, you probably want your makeup to last throughout whatever that thing is. So for me, I always mix my foundation and primer just so I can combine two steps into one. But without further ado, let's roll on into the six minute makeup tutorial. <laughs> 